Hello, everybody. Welcome to our presentation, Study in Slovenia, today in English. We are glad that you have joined us and uh, at the same time also honored that so many young people are interested in studying in Slovenia. Let me introduce our team first. My name is Milena Sitar Matelic, and I am a coordinator of the Study in Slovenia initiative at the National Agency for Mobility and European Educational and Training Program. It is a great pleasure that the representatives of four biggest and oldest universities are participating at today's presentation. They will introduce their excellent institution together with interesting study programs. After that, we shall guide you through the enroll enroll enrollment procedure, which seems to be a bit complicated at the beginning, but Petra will give you some friendly advices and point out where to pay a special attention. And we are sure that this procedure will not uh, be a problem for any of you. In the end, you are going to meet our two students, Marcos from Spain and Julia from Poland. They will share with you their experiences, their stories, their feelings, their fears and joys, and everything about being a student in Slovenia. I'm sure uh, you will also have some questions to ask and clear them out. So we kindly ask you and advise to use uh, the bottom Q and A questions and answers, and our colleagues in the backstage will answer you as soon as possible. If we are not in a position at the moment to answer you right now, we shall take your email address and after double checking some issues, we shall send you an email immediately after we find out the, inf the information or dilemmas that's uh, bothering you. I would like to share uh, my uh, screen with you right now, just a second. And I will ask you just for a short reconfirmation that you see my- We do. You, you do, thank you very much. We're asking why Slovenia? Slovenia is really a small, but very beautiful country. It is safe and secure. It is well-developed and green, sustainable with a high quality of living. But you would say those are facts more or less like a tourist promotion. So the real question is why study in Slovenia? Because we have, uh, excellent universities and faculties ranking among top three or four percent in the world. We have a high quality of study programs and recognized diplomas. What is very important is the fact that we have a free of charge education for students of many countries, especially this is valid for the students from EU member countries and many others based on mutual agreement between states. There are many possibilities for scholarships and other means of funding your studies. Many of colleges, many faculties have already started their uh, lessons in English because they have so many international students especially on master and PhD level. And if you are not applying for a full-time study in Slovenia, we can always, you can always join at student mobility programs and in summer schools. In Slovenia, we have six universities, four are public and two private, and that's why also uh, we have uh, private and public colleges faculties. Private faculties are payable, so they are not free of charge, but public uh, faculties, public colleges are free of charge, not only 
for Slovenian, but also for many students from abroad. As I've said, from uh, students for the students from European Union and for uh, students from Western Balkan, which is based on the mutual bilateral agreements between countries. We follow Bologna study cycle. It means three or four years for bachelor degree, one or two years master and three years PhD studies. We also used ECTS uh, transfer system, credit system, like elsewhere in Europe. What are the advantages of uh, studying in Slovenia? One of the strategic goals of our country is to rise the level of education of our population. And that's why also special attention is paid for students uh, during their studies. And uh, that's why students in Slovenia and also international students have quite a lot of uh, quite a lot benefits compared with other countries. It means that the first uh, good uh, thing or fact is that education is free of charge. Then students can live in uh, student dormitories with uh, discounted rent and uh, the rent is much lower as our market prices. Then they have subsidized meals and public transport. Uh, also they can join or they can use all materials from public lab libraries for free. They have wide possibilities for student work and what is more, more important that severe state regulations are regarding minimum hour payment together with obligatory health and pension insurance. As you have, uh, as I have uh, mentioned before, almost all uh, faculties are participating in some kind of uh, student mobilities. So you can come also to study in Slovenia for one or two semesters through Erasmus Plus or CEE PUS uh, programs. So be uh, pay attention for call for papers. It is usually announced in March. For, so March uh, in March in next year, it will be call for papers for next year. About fee, about uh, tuition fee. There is no tuition fee for students coming from European Union, from countries from European Union, from Switzerland, Iceland, Liechtenstein, and Norway. There is also uh, the, uh, the same situation. So it means no free of charge uh, education is also for the students coming from Western Balkan based on bilateral agreements. It means uh, Bosnian and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Kosovo, North Macedonia, and Serbia. There is no uh, fee to pay for education, also for students uh, who have permanent address in Slovenia and their parents or themselves are already taxpayer in Slovenia or persons uh, which are, who are granted international protection or they are uh, applicants for it. Or uh, there is no need to pay a scholarship if you are uh, holders of scholarships in Slovenia and for also for students on the mobility. But uh, who are the students who have to pay the uh, tuition? These are uh, students who are not, not coming from the states uh, from European Union, or if our, our Slovenia does not have uh, a bilateral agreement with their uh, home country, then all students which have already acquired equivalent degree of uh, education, payable is also all PhD uh, studies, and uh, all those students who are chosen part-time studies. 
and you have to pay the tuition fee also at the private faculty. As I've said uh, before, there are uh, various uh, funds, financial funds, to support your students' student budget. And the most important is the public uh, fund for scholarship development and uh, disability fund of Republic of Slovenia. You have to be careful to um, to check when the call uh, is uh, published. It is usually announced in August. And some faculties you will see or you will hear in uh, then uh, when uh, all faculties, all institutions, universities will introduce their studies, they will mention also their own funds, uh, which they have for scholarship. If you come from EU, uh, EU member countries and from the European economic area, you can enter Slovenia with valid passport or identity card. However, if you come from the third world, from other countries, from the uh, from other, elsewhere, you must obtain a visa or a residence permit from the Slovenian embassies abroad. We kindly recommend you to check with the universities or faculties you have chosen to study in uh, what are um, important and obligatory um, documents you have to obtain before entering Slovenia. And also very important is to have health insurance. We recommend to have the basic health ins insurance and also uh, additional health ins insurance for staying in Slovenia. All uh, those procedures you will find at our website and also at the website of the universities, visas, enrollment, recognition of foreign education, scholarships, tuition fee, and so on. So you are kindly invited to visit our website. This is the screen of our website, Study in Slovenia, where all the possibilities for studies in Slovenia uh, are represented, all institutions and all study programs. So you are kindly invited to visit it and check what we have to offer. And also, what uh, as I have uh, already um, mentioned before, please pay attention for calls for enrollment, which is usually published in February for the next academic year. But we shall talk about it a bit later. Petra will uh, represent you all the details about it. So uh, I would like to thank you for your attention for the moment. And now I would like to invite Liliana to tell you more about studying at university in Ljubljana. Liliana, it's your turn. Thank you, Milena. So now I want to share my screen. Uh, you see this? You see my slides? Yes. Okay, thank you. So, um, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Liliana and I'm an international student from Serbia and I'm in my master studies at Faculty of Social Sciences here in Ljubljana, majoring in sociology, management of human resources, knowledge and organizations. Uh, as a student, I also work at uh, University of Ljubljana Rectorate uh, at University Office for International Cooperation. Uh, so today uh, I will give you a brief introduction of the University of Ljubljana, uh, what can you study at our university and uh, what you can expect as our student. So, oh, uh -huh, okay, I need to move. I hope you see next slide. Okay, so um, our university is uh, located in Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia, which is a, a very pleasant and uh, useful city to live in. Uh, 
our university was founded in 1990, and today has 23 uh, faculties and three art academies covering all fields of study. The central building, the one you can see here on slides, um, all three academies and some faculties are located um, in the city center. Some of the most recent and modern buildings uh, were constructed on the outskirts of Ljubljana, and Faculty of Maritime uh, Studies and Transport is located in a port by the sea. Uh, the um, three art academies offer degree programs in the fields of music, fine arts and design, theater, radio, film, and television. The field of uh, natural science, uh, technology, and uh, engineering comprises these 10 faculties offering uh, unique programs uh, that prepare students uh, for careers in these high growth areas. Also, uh, students um, can study uh, at this is uh, at one of these eight uh, faculties in the field of uh, humanities and social sciences uh, that encourage open and critical thinking. We um, also uh, welcome prospective students who are interested in uh, medicine, health science, and sport. Um, each year, around 40,000 students broaden and deepen their knowledge and skills at our institution, uh, including 9% of international students from more than 100 countries. Around three quarters of uh, all international students come from Western Balkan region, uh, mainly, as you can see, from North uh, Macedonia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Croatia, and Montenegro. And one of um, our uh, strategic orientations is cooperation with the Western Balkan region. Uh, and through research, teaching, and study activities, uh, we also strive to connect and maintain contact with the Slovenians living abroad. Uh, the uh, University of Ljubljana ranks among the top 3% of universities in the world. Uh, An education acquired at the University of Ljubljana will definitely allow you to gain the knowledge, practical experience, and skills you need to succeed uh, in your career wherever in the world you choose to work and live one day. Um, also, as our students, you will have many possibilities for practical work, exchanges, and internships. Uh, you are also welcome to attend our summer, school, summer schools, courses, um, also concerts, um, exhibitions, and performances that are organized by, by our academies and faculties. And you will also, as our students, have a good access to library resources and services. And with various support activities, we will provide you support and integrating into your studies and life in Slovenia. Um, we have accredited more than uh, 400 degree, uh, for, uh, um, yeah, 400 degree programs uh, and more than 800 subjects in English. In uh, cooperation with foreign universities, we conduct interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary studies, and we encourage international uh, exchange of uh, our students and also uh, our staff. We are actively involved in many international partnerships, which uh, provides you a plenty of opportunities for um, exchange during your studies, like um, uh, Erasmus Plus grant and uh, some other scholarships. So if you do not decide to study at our university, you can always visit us and study one or two semesters with, uh, within exchange programs, but you need to check uh, if your faculty or university have a cooperation agreement with us. The University of Ljubljana is also a part of uh, Utopia, which includes nine other universities from Europe. Uh, Utopia aims to promote the mobility of students um, and staff through uh, new ways of uh, joint teaching and learning and also cross-border cooperation. Our university is an open institution. 
um, and we look forward to have as many uh, international students as possible. Here are some of our graduates and students who explain uh, what it's like to learn with us and why they choose to study uh, at the University of Ljubljana. You are um, welcome to join uh, us at the University of Ljubljana Information Days and the sessions. We uh, expect to start uh, presentations again in February. Uh, time slots and more information will be published on this website, University Study News Information Days. Uh, and you're also welcome to join us at the uh, Virtual Fair of Education, and visit our virtual booths where all uh, the University of Ljubljana members are represented. Um, we warmly recommend you to check regularly our website study where you can find uh, many useful information about study exchange opportunities extracurricular and other activities and um, also to carefully carefully read the welcome guide where you can find uh, gather detailed information about your arrival to slovenia and also studying at our university but also um, to check uh, our new video on the uh, our uh, website and on our YouTube channel. Uh, this video is on application process where you can find uh, many more useful information such as enrollment requirements, application deadlines, and more. So choosing your studies is one of the most important decisions of your life. I suggest you to think carefully what uh, you enjoy, as it makes studying much easier. Um, as I said, visit our websites and also social medias, social networks of our website and also faculties you're interested in. If you uh, need any advice or help, uh, you can contact us um, to, or arrange an online uh, consultation. Uh, we will definitely do our best to provide you with all the information and answers uh, to any questions you may have. Uh, it is also important to know that our university is decentralized and enrollment in undergraduate studies is done by the university itself, while enrollment in master's and doctoral studies is done at each member separately. So you will be able to find most of the information about enrolling in master and doctoral studies, of course, on our website. But for some specific questions, please contact an authorized person at the faculty you're, you wish to enroll. So um, on the behalf of the University of Ljubljana, uh, I wish you uh, all the best in your studies, um, in your choosing and choosing uh, your studies and also your career path. And I hope to see you in Ljubljana next year. Thank you. Thank you, Liliana, for your presentation. And I would like to invite Stoyan to make the introduction of University of Maribor. Yes, hello. Uh, welcome also from my side and uh, welcome to the University of uh, Maribor. I hope you see my presentation. Uh, let me see if I can switch through. Yes, so our university is the second oldest and the second largest in Slovenia. We have about 14,000 students and uh, 10, around 10%, even 11% last year uh, uh, is international students. Um, we have around, uh, we have 17 faculties and uh, we offer 179 study programs of all cycles. So you can study with us at the bachelor level, at master's level, or if you choose, you can uh, find a suitable uh, doctoral study program. Um, we offer all, uh, we offer technical sciences, uh, social sciences, humanities, uh, medicine and health sciences. So there is something for, for everybody. Um, why to study at the University of Maribor? Um, I think uh, we 
we offer a lot to, uh, to our students. You can get, we have an effective and good tutoring system. So if you have difficulties already in the beginning, you can get either a student tutor or a professor tutor who will help you overcome any difficulties you might encounter uh, with your studies. Um, we, as I said, I, we have a wide range of uh, diverse and interesting study programs. Um, popular are also the extracurricular activities that we offer and you can get extra credit points for those extracurricular activities, which range in the, from the fields of sports to also economics, social sciences. So you can, on top of your study program that you already study, you can pick any, any extracurricular activity and get extra ECTS points for that. Um, as part of uh, being our student, you can, you can be involved in study exchange and you can also go abroad on study exchange. Um, we have um, we can offer you um, a dormitory which is also a, a huge advantage uh, because you can get housing for for little or little money less than if you would choose and pay for an apartment privately and the dormitories are located around the city uh, and uh, in the proximity of um, of the faculties um we have a good career center that also organizes workshops seminars you also do already during your studies and uh, you can pre get prepared for when you when you when you finish your studies and enter the, the job market um like i said we offer here you can see we offer 17 study program uh, faculties and most of them are located in Maribor and the surroundings but some of them are also in other cities around uh, Slovenia like for example uh, faculty, the faculty of criminal justice and security is located in Ljubljana um, um, the uh, Faculty of Organization Sciences is in Kran. Faculty of Energy Technology is by the border to Croatia, but most of them, like I said, is uh, located are located in uh, in Maribor. Um, we are very proud because the rank, international rankings uh, do uh, recognize our institution and place us quite high in in the rankings. So the uh, the, the University of Maribor is uh, ranked as top 4% of world's best universities. Um, and then, um, for example, the Olympic Committee of Slovenia uh, gave us the certificate of being an athlete friendly university, which means that uh, if you get, uh, if you, if you are an athlete, you can get certain adjustments uh, during your study process with the lectures, with the um, exams and so on. Uh, the study portal satisfaction award of 2019 uh, also gave us uh, and recognized as, uh, us as a, as a highly appreciated uh, uh, higher education institution. Um, and then some some of our achieve, uh, achievements that we are most proud of. I think the uh, the most uh, um, news were about our uh, satellite, which was launched into space in cooperation with the uh, Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. Uh, we already launched a second satellite now uh, into space. So Slovenia is also now like a quite a space force if we if you choose to say that um, the demola project is uh, popular with the students which uh, enables you that you enter already some some uh, projects uh, uh, in companies while you are studying um, our professors and students are getting numerous uh, awards like uh, in different competitions and research teams around the world and Europe. 
um, we developed also this uh, electrical air uh, aircraft, which is one of the popular projects. Uh, and uh, the students of the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering uh, develop every year a new formula car. And this uh, formula uh, comp uh, competition team is then uh, competing with other uh, competition teams throughout uh, Europe. Uh, we also connected a super, super computer, and uh, this enables us to get like some new uh, data from from the world of computers and computer science. Uh, so there's many projects that you can be involved in while you are studying at our university. Um, if you choose to find, if you choose to know more, you can always uh, find more information at our websites uh, and uh, our emails. And of course, we are also uh, present in so at social media on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. So this is a little bit about our university. And uh, now uh, I will let you go and uh, send you off to the, to the coast, to the University of Primorska. Thank you, Stoyan. Hello, uh, hello from University of Primorska. Uh, I'm Tina and I will, um, I will um, introduce you to our uh, to our university. Uh, our university was founded in 2003 and it's the third public Slovene university. Something about the name, uh, Primorska is the name of the littoral region where it is located. Uh, the main town of uh, this uh, region is Koper. It is also a university city and it's a very popular touristic and also university university town. No, this is a Slovene coast. Uh, here you can see Copper, where most of our faculties are located. And uh, in addition, Faculty for Health Science is located in Isola and Faculty of Tourism Science, Turistica, it is located in Portoroz. All these towns are very close to each other and uh, the, the, um, the, this, this region is really very nice, uh, located at the seaside. Something about our university. University has approximately 6,000 students, uh, 97 uh, study programs, uh, more than 150 visiting professors and researchers every year and uh, many, many professors and other staff. And what is uh, maybe important for you, uh, we are very international university, almost 20% of our students come from abroad. So uh, when you will come here, you will, be, uh, you will be feeling like at home, maybe a bit. <laughs> These are uh, the list of Avis, our study and research areas. We cover almost all uh, research and uh, study areas, geography, Slovene studies, foreign languages, cultural studies, anthropology, history, archeology, span management, economics, and finance, political science, bioinformatic, psychology and biopsychology, mathematics, computer science, agriculture, nature conservation, sustainable built environment, tourism, kinesiology, health science, physiotherapy, parity, dietetics, uh, ped pedagogy, preschool teaching, primary school teaching, visual arts and design. So I, I guess you will find also something for yourself. Uh, this is uh, this is a graph with the percentage of uh, foreign students. Uh, these are all foreign students. Most of them come from Serbia, uh, Bosnia Herzegovina, North Macedonia, Italy, Croatia, Russian Federation, and from other other countries. So what are the advantages of studying at the University of Primorska? Most of all, and uh, what our students greatly value is a personal approach and our survey showed that the high satisfaction with student-teacher relationship. 
uh, but what is very important uh, for you is that University of Rimorska has its own scholarship found. Uh, it is the only uni Slovenian university offering scholarships to talented students. You can apply for scholarship found after enrolling. Uh, we have regular sports and recreational activities for students. And as I said before, visiting professors from all over the world. What are important achievements? Uh, we are involved in many international uh, projects, uh, such as in or in you. Uh, we are a research innovation center of excellence. Uh, we are ranked on uh, several international uh, rankings. Uh, we are an associate member of the member of the European University Transform for Europe. Um, with many, many European universities. And we are also a member of a network of innovative higher education institutions. And as I said, uh, we are involved in many other international projects. And what is important for you, that we also involve students a lot in our research work. They are, they are, um, they are very much involved. Uh, in the research work, and uh, I think this is very good, uh, good for students, even undergraduate student, students. Uh, okay, this was very shortly about our university. We hope to see you in Copper at the seaside. Here you have our website and our email addresses for more information. So please, um, thank you for your attention. And now we go to uh, Nova Gorica, I think. Thank you very much. So hello from the University of Nova Gorica. My name is Veronica Piccinini and today I'll present to you the study opportunities in Nova Gorica. So the University of Nova Gorica is located on the very border with Italy in Western Slovenia in the lovely Gorishka region, which is located between the sea, as you can see here, this blue is the seaside. Actually, the closest to us is uh, the Italian coast, like 20 minutes by car from our university. And um, in the north, um, you have the lovely Socha River Valley, which you can see on the right. Uh, which opens up later on into the alpine world that are the marvelous mountains that are also situated very near. So uh, this region is a warm sub-Mediterranean region known for uh, natural beauties, rich culture, uh, and the meeting point of languages, cultures, and nations. Here is also a shot from our university vineyard because as I've told you, our region is warm and uh, Mediterranean, and it is also known as one of the largest winemaking regions in Slovenia. Our university has seven, seven schools and about 500 students. So we are um, indeed a very small, but student-friendly university with more than, um, 54% of international students coming from more than 40 countries around the world, among which, again, like the previous um, universities mentioned, uh, most of the international students come from Western Balkans, but also from the neighboring um, region in Italy. So what can you um, actually um, study with us? Well, um, I will start with the School of Engineering and Management, where you can study uh, the interdisciplinary study program Engineering and Management, or later on at master's level, you can also study leadership in open education. This school is located in a smaller town, Vipava, where we have one of our three campuses. You can also study environmental sciences at the School of Environmental Sciences. The location is the same uh, at the campus in Vipava. Later on, you can also study 
uh, at the School of Science, where we specialize into three fields that are physics, astrophysics, and material science, which are actually um, very promising in terms of employment of our graduates, since they really offer lots of different employment opportunities in many sectors. Well, and here we are with viticulture and technology, so wine studies. As I told you, we are a winemaking region and we are proud to offer also studies in this field at the bachelor's level and also later on at the master's level. This school is also located at the Vipava campus, whereas the previous one, I forgot uh, to mention, the School of Science is located in Aidoschina, which is also, like Vipava, very near to Nova Gorica, about 20 minutes away by car. You can also study digital arts and practices with the models animation, video film, photography and new media at our School of Arts. And later you can continue at the similar program Media Arts and Practices. If you are into humanities, you can choose between two fields at the bachelor's studies, cultural history or Slovene studies. But at the master's level, the choice is a little bit wider. You can also study um, Slovene studies and also humanities studies. So this is a new study program which will be introduced next October. And this study program will comprise tracks, histories and cultures of cross-border spaces because, as I've told you, we live in a cross-border area um, which is actually influenced by different cultures, different languages and different histories of the local cross-border um, area. The next track is literary science, or you can also choose the track linguistics and even opt for a double degree with the Ca' Foscari University of Venice from Italy. You can also study at the master's um, study program Migration and Intercultural Relations. So this is an interesting internationally oriented joint study program where you spend your study periods in different parts of the world at different partners, partner universities. Of course, we also offer PhD studies. So please have a look at the website of our graduate school. Now, what are the advantages of studies at our university? As I've told you, we are a very small university, so we can definitely afford to offer you a very individual approach. We professors know all the students by names, so we can help you, guide you, and include you in different activities, projects. The programs themselves are very um, internationally oriented, but also practically oriented. So it means you have a lot of practical classes, practical placements. But as I've mentioned, we, we are eager to include you also in different projects in research. So please just knock on our doors of laboratories and the research centers, and we will do our best to include you in those projects. Of course, you're more than welcome to gather um, different types of experience also during international mobilities, either for studies or practical placements abroad. So more than welcome to do that. And we, we believe that our practical orientations of our study programs bring good results, especially in terms of employment. Here you can see the latest statistics of the Career Center. More than 95% of graduates manage to find jobs within one year after graduation. At our university, you do not need any preliminary knowledge of the Slovenian language. Um, and we also offer free Slovenian language courses, even the year plus program, so a little bit more intensive language courses with more credit points for you. And various refreshment courses of languages and other subjects like chemistry, physics and all this is free for you and helps you integrate better into the new study environment. As you know, there are no entrance examinations uh, if you enroll into Slovenian universities, except at some specialized study program like 
uh, in our case at the School of Arts where you have the so-called ability check. We've also already heard about the tuition free options, so all the bachelor's programs are free, some of them um, also on the master's level, you don't have tuition fees, plus we offer different scholarships, we have a foundation um, offering, for example, scholarships for students athletes, we are also an athletes friendly university, so we have athletes from all over Europe studying with us. And also, I would like to point out our distance learning support. We have a very well established system for online learning and teaching, the MeetIM system, which allows you to follow lectures from um, the distance or watch the recordings and, of course, also use um, several virtual um, classrooms. I would like to invite you to check our website to join our info days in the future and follow our social media. Uh, we can also put you in contact with uh, different students of other programs, so feel free to contact us and hope to see you in Slovenia and also in Nova Gorica. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you for uh all panelists for their presentations. I would like to invite Petra to show you some secrets of enrollment procedure. Hello to everyone. My name is Petra. Uh, I'm from admission office at the University of Primorska. And now I will share uh, some important things about the application and admission procedure. And you will see that uh, it's really not uh, that hard as it seems. And uh, you are all um, uh, you are all internet generation, so uh, capable of do it by yourself. Uh, so let me share this information with you. Uh, these are our application terms for next year. The first one starts in mid-February and I really uh, warmly recommend you to enroll to apply in the first uh, application term because all of uh, study programs of all universities are available. Okay. Uh, then uh, something very important for EU, EU citizens, there are application terms uh, for all the same. That means the same application term for the University of Ljubljana, Maribor, Primorska, and Nova Gorica. But uh, for foreign citizens, uh, each of university has uh, their own terms. So please, uh, in mid-February, when the call for enrollment is published, be careful to check uh, these application terms. Uh, in this, this call for enrollment, it's uh, basically literally a Bible for you because uh, there are all uh, admission requests uh, for every study program uh, in uh, our universities and also some other things that are important for you. Uh, for example, um, test of uh, specific, uh, specific abilities or skills, deadlines for submission of documents, and so on. So please, uh, when the call for enrollment is published, read it carefully, okay? Because uh, once the application term is closed, you cannot say, I didn't know, because everything is uh, in this call for enrollment. And furthermore, uh, you can write to admission offices uh, and ask uh, further questions if you are not sure about uh, something. Uh, the application process is online and it's in uh, on the our go governmental uh, webpage uh, EVSH. Okay, this is the portal where you will create your 
own portal with your username and password. Uh, it's uh, very easy, like you would uh, do it on, I don't know, Facebook. Uh, but it's important that uh, you remember or write down, save your username and password because you will need it uh, within the whole procedure because the results uh, of, uh, of the application will be uh, uploaded from us on, on your portal. Then all uh, requested documentation you will have to upload it in your portal. Nothing goes through the post anymore. Nothing goes through uh, emails, everything, and all the communication is on the portal. So please save your username and password. Uh, this is how this portal looks like. First of all, you can choose the Slovenian or English language, and then you will start with your citizenship, okay? Please select your citizenship, and then you will select the first cycle, second cycle, uh, second cycle, uh, cycle. it depends uh, whether you're uh, applying for bachelor or master or doctoral degrees. And then you will find the call for enrollment, uh, please look at this one. This is uh, for the bachelor degree. You will find this call for enrollment. And then you have here the application deadline. You will find the university you are applying at or University of Ljubljana, Maribor, Primorska or Nova Gorica. And the type of application, enrollment into the first year of study. You can also apply in the second year study if you have uh, if you fulfill all requirements, uh, please ask this uh, at the faculty that you want to enroll about these requirements. And then on the, uh, the second page, you will choose the faculty, the study program, the place of study and language, because you know that uh, many of uh, Many of our uh, study programs are also performed in English. That means that the complete process is in English. The method of study is also very important. It means that you are studying either uh, full-time or part-time. The part-time study is, you must pay it, okay? Even though if you come from, I don't know, North Macedonia and you don't need to pay the tuition fee, if you uh, choose the part-time, it means that you will have to pay the tuition fee, okay? Because uh, this part-time, uh, it's very suitable for people uh, who works uh, and study. So they will, you will work uh, from Monday to Friday and you will have uh, subjects in afternoon and in weekend. So if you want to study full-time, then please select full-time and not part-time. Uh, and then when you will do this, when you will fill out, uh, this is uh, your point. You will see what did you choose. So you can choose free priorities. That means free wishes, free study programs. Um, if you're coming from non-EU uh, countries, you will have to write one application for every uh, university that you want to study because, uh, as I told you before, there are different periods, application periods, okay? If you decide to uh, study at the University of Primorska, you can choose free study programs. Uh, if then you can also fulfill the application for the uh, Nova Gorica, for uh, Ljubljana or Maribor, and you can choose free study programs. After that, uh, you will see here the deadline for document submission. This is the page where you will upload your documentation. Okay. Uh, there are two deadlines. The first deadline is uh, 
the application deadline. The first application term is uh, open approximately one month, and then you will submit this application. But since you are getting your uh, high school diploma and uh, the transcript of grades in June or even in July, you have the second deadline, and this is the deadline for document, document submission, okay? Uh, so, as I told you, everything must be uploaded on the portal. After, uh, after fulfilling your application, please push this button, this submit button. Because last year, uh, many, many candidates told, uh, uh, thought uh, that they don't need to submit it because they will uh furtherly upload their documents but as i told you you have to fill out your application first submit it and after that uh in june or july you will go on your portal again and you will upload your documents if you don't submit your application uh when the uh, uh, application term is opened, your application will not go in the system and uh, later you will not be able to upload your documentation because your application will not be in the system. Okay, so please, please push this button uh, before the application term closes. Uh, as I told you, the results of selection procedure will be also published in the Evershire portal. Uh, and after that, if you're accepted, it doesn't mean that you're also enrolled. Uh, this is the second thing that you have to do. You will get the results in the Evershire portal. And if you're accepted, you will be invited by faculty to enroll. This is also an online uh, process. Uh, it's very simple, but please uh, may take in mind that uh, being accepted, it doesn't mean that you're enrolled, okay? You can also be accepted uh, from two or three different uh, university if you're non-EU candidates. Uh, so then you will be able uh, to choose in which one you want to enroll. Um, when you will upload, attach your documentation, we will make a decision on recognition of your education. This is also done uh, by our admission offices. So don't worry about that. And you will get the decision also attached on your portal. Uh, how is this done? Uh, in the application forum, you will uh, write here everything about your high school. That means uh, your high school name, the number of uh, duration of your education, place of issue, and so on. Uh, okay, what you need to upload in your portal. First of all, your high school diploma, matura, Okay, your high school diploma. Uh, make a scan and upload it. Uh, if you're coming from uh, ex Yugoslavian countries, you don't need to legalize uh, your diplomas. You don't need to notarize it, just upload it. Uh, if you're coming from Russia, please upload the apostillet uh, uh, diploma attestat. Okay, then we need the transcript of grades for the last two years. Uh, please ask uh, admission offices if you need translations, because uh, at the University of Primorska, we don't uh, need translations. Uh, we read Cyrillic as well. So uh, please inform yourself. Then uh, the short chronological description of your entire education, uh, the scan of your passport, and if requested by the call for enrollment, uh, please upload this additional evidence 
that uh, some of uh, study programs study program requires. Uh, here you can see that no legalization is needed for all these countries, okay, Austria, Bulgaria, Bosnia, Czech Republic, France, Greece, Croatia, Hungary, Romania, North Macedonia, and Serbia. Uh, other uh, republics, other states need uh, the epistile. If you are not sure about that, you can write us uh, at uh, all our admission offices. And if you have some question, please ask right in uh, Q&A, or uh, you can also write us an email later. So we are really here for you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you, Peter, for your introduction. And now I would like to present to you our two international students. These are Marco from Spain and Julia from Poland. Marco will, Marcus will show you also his uh, screen about some um, conflicts by studying in Slovenia. So hello, Marco, the world is yours. Uh, hello, I didn't prepare a presentation, but I, I just have a couple words to say, well, a couple, uh, couple paragraphs to say. Uh, hello, so my name is Marcos Fernandez. I am a student at uh, the University of Primorska, and to be more specific, I study in FAMNIT, the Faculty of Mathematics, Natural Science, and Information Technologies. Uh, I study in Koper, that's where the faculty is uh, located, and uh, I am a student, I'm a second year student in bioinformatics in the bachelor's pro uh, degree uh, program of bioinformatics, and I'm here to talk a little bit about my experience in the first year. So, as said before, I am from Spain, and to be honest with you, at the beginning, I was a little bit afraid because of the difference in the language and the culture, and I thought I maybe wouldn't fit in, right? But I was proven completely wrong when I came to Slovenia because everybody here is very welcoming and uh, they all speak English, a little bit of English enough to get around, which is perfect. But not only that, the university also helped me by offering a, um, offering a Slovenian course at the beginning of the year or even through the year. And I took that before coming and it not only helped me uh, understand the, the language, but it also helped me with, uh, to get to know a little bit about the culture and the um, the life of Slovenians, which is great for me to integrate myself in this new life abroad. Um, another great thing about Slovenia is their teaching system, but not only their teaching system, their professor to student relationship they have, because things here are done a little bit differently, or at least very differently to compare to Spain, because in Spain, the professors don't really care if you pass, they kind of just teach you and whatever, they usually don't even help you with the course. But here is very differently, like, the, the professors, the staff, and even the students, they're always here to help you with your base, uh, to their best capability. And I highly recommend you guys enroll in tutors. And that's something I missed on at the first year, but tutors are just students that may be on your same, um, they may have the same, what's the word? Uh, they may be on the same course, but just a higher, uh, just a, uh, another year, the higher year. And I know they help, they help a lot because they know the subject, they've passed the subject so they can help you and make some tips. Or even if you're not caught up because you didn't study in the high school, they can get you caught up to the classes. But another, another example that I have to share was me with the enrollment process, because I know it's very hard to, trans, to translate maybe your, um, your papers from high school and everything. And Petra was very helpful with this. And thanks to her, honestly, I, I enrolled because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have been in this university at all. So just a key piece of information, a key piece of advice I wanna tell you guys that I wish I would have known the first year is just don't feel, don't feel afraid to ask questions. You know, everybody here is willing to help and nobody will shame you for it. Top of all of that, I, Slovenia does have a lot of great resources. Like Milena said at the beginning, you guys have bus discounts, which is great to get around. And my favorite one, which is the student food coupons. I personally, very lazy, I hate going out to buy groceries and I like cooking, but I'm a really bad cook. So Slovenia helps you with that by offering you this uh, daily coupons sort of thing, which is when you go to a restaurant, to some specific restaurants, you pay a min like a little less price than you would pay normally, which is great. It's great for me or people like me that are lazy to cook. And also if by the end of a month, maybe you don't have enough money because you spend too much money on parties. Just a little tip, coupons are there. 
But uh, finally, I do also want to talk about the many activities that Slovenia has offered me or can offer to all of you. Like, for example, here in Koper, we have a lot of um, organizations that are dedicated to making your life in Slovenia just a little bit more fun. Uh, the two main ones that we have is uh, one of them is dedicated to giving discounts and sport activities like swimming, going to the gym, or they even can organize some hikes or some, um, some skiing trips, which is great. I highly recommend those. The other one is more dedicated for um, social events, like uh, which at the beginning, it can help you if you don't feel like you know that many people from your class, you can always go to any of the social events and make some friends. The social events can be parties, can be some um, game nights, or even trips for nearby countries. Like, for example, this winter, they are uh, organizing a uh, trip to Budapest for just a minimal price, which is great. I, would, I haven't been to Budapest, and now I can go for a discounted price with some friends as well. So, all in all, I hope I didn't miss anything. Honestly, it was a very long year, but in the fun way, and there's a lot of things. So, when you guys come, you will see. And you have to take my word that Slovenia has so many options that you will never feel homesick. So thank you for your time. I think I will pass this to uh, Julia. But if you guys end up in Koper, I will most surely see you guys around. Thank you, Marcus, for your story. I would like to invite now Julia from Poland to share her impressions and her story with us. Uh, hello, I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you, but we cannot see you. Yes, that's that's the issue that I I've got a uh, notice that okay now now I'm here. Okay, okay. Perfect. I just had yeah. te technical issues at the beginning, but now now I'm fine. I can see myself. I hope you can see and hear me well too. Well, I just will speak very shortly because I don't want to. Uh, repeat uh, what uh, before was said um, very on point and also it's over an hour now so I really appreciate that you're staying guys with us and listening uh, so I'm uh, to, to introduce, introduce myself I'm Julia I'm from Poland and uh, I study in uh, Ljubljana in the University of Ljubljana at School of uh, Economics and Business and uh, I, choose, uh, I chose this uh, university uh, because for my master's studies, because during my bachelor studies, I, uh, a little bit by accident, uh, no, yeah, let's say it was a, cho a random choice. I ended up in Erasmus uh, here in Ljubljana and I like it so much that I came back, but I have to stress that I wouldn't have come back if it wasn't for the opportunities that this university has. Uh, first and foremost, that uh, studies are free, as it, as it is being said, uh, for, uh, for EU students, also from uh, students with uh, countries that they have agreements. So I, I know there are yeah, a lot of Macedonians, Bosnian, uh, Montenegrin students, they don't pay anything. Uh, I also knew, uh, I also know two friends, uh, I have two friends from Ukraine that they pay fees, but yeah, apparently compared to other universities abroad that it is also affordable. So yeah, of course you need to pay like uh, admission fee, but it's around 80 euros, so it's nothing. And uh, second most important thing is that uh, courses are in English. So otherwise I wouldn't be able to follow at all. But yeah, about the language, I must say that it's one of the things that make me really feel like home uh, in here, uh, that the languages are uh, so, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm not at home right now. Uh, languages, uh, my and uh, Slovene uh, are so similar that uh, I don't feel a culture shock. And also I know guys that you are probably from uh, uh, Macedonia or from uh, Serbia or uh, from Montenegro and so for you even, even less that you can actually uh, speak your languages and be understood to a great extent. And also I, 
uh, attended uh, Slovene course, uh, Leto Plus, uh, which is a year of uh, course, uh, year course of inten intensive uh, Slovene study. Uh, it is intensive. We uh, went through all the most important grammar, grammar for the cases, but at the same time, it was made in very friendly atmosphere and it was apart from other uh, other uh, my apart from my other subject that was the one that I was really looking for uh, every week not to say that my other courses uh, were bad because not at all. I like them a lot and I like the, the attitude that professors have here that it's uh, very practical but practical in a good way that they don't uh, give you homework just so you have something to do but you feel that with this practical homework it really makes a difference uh, and what else uh, from a, a practical point of view and now i just look at the excel at my uh, uh, expenses and it turned out that on average i spent in uh, generally i spend in slovenia around uh, 600 euros per month including rent which is more than a half <laughs> of my expenses so yeah, 600 euros is uh, not, not like if you went home and lived with your parents and, and studied there, but I think it's somewhat affordable. If it wasn't affordable, I wouldn't go here. Of course, now with the inflation uh, all around in Europe and uh, Poland even higher and uh, in the uh, rising prices of uh, apartments, it's uh, probably higher, but so you can have some comparison, some starting point. Uh, and what, what as I wanted to say, of course, about Bonnie, everybody, uh, every student and Marcos and uh, me and uh, all the students love them because it basically used to be 2.69 euros subsidy. Now I think it's slightly higher, which means that, uh, yeah, you pay practically for a meal, a figure or something, four euros something, and sometimes you can get, uh, get it for free if... Uh, if the food is like within this subsidy, it's around uh, 279, it means you, you can just use your bony and eat it practically for free. And also, uh, what I want to say, yeah, uh, libraries, I use the libraries also for free. There's a system of bicycle, which for three euros per year, you can use uh, city bags in, in Ljubljana, also public transport in Ljubljana is 20 euros per month, so it's all really affordable. Um, and what I also want to add, uh, yeah, what, what uh, Marco said, and it was mentioned also before that uh, it's touristically also a very beautiful country. So if you have a time uh, apart from uh, your studies to, to go to, uh, to the seaside or maybe you will study at the seaside. Uh, so you don't have to go there, you will be already there. Uh, it's uh, and around, yeah, it's so close to Italy, it's so close to Austria, to Vienna. So from this point of view, it's also very nice. And the whole atmosphere that the Ljubljana is very uh, student city. So and people talk English there. There's no problem at all, and you don't feel alienated because there are a lot of international students, a lot of Erasmus students, and it just uh, feels very cozy. Also, Ljubljana is yeah, the capital, the biggest uh, city, but it's still quite small compared to other cities. So it does really feel like uh, cozy and friendly, and you you are not. Uh, afraid to go at night at whichever point at whichever hour it's super safe and uh, just it's just an amazing atmosphere so uh yeah i i think i won't won't be <laughs> the, the, taking much uh, much much more of your time but uh, i think you can hear from from my a little bit spontaneous presentation that i uh, like here in, in slovenia a lot also, uh, they offer a lot of uh, Erasmus exchanges this, um, right now at the Erasmus exchange. Uh, so, and they are very organized in all of this, the application procedure, 
uh, to for studies for Erasmus. It's all very organized. And you can you can tell that that this meeting started at the at the exact hour it was supposed to start. It's uh, it's rare to 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 see this. And here um, everybody is very helpful and all the procedure go really really smooth. Okay, thank you very much for your time and for listening. Thank you very much, Julia and Marcus, for sharing your story. Uh, you are staying with us for a few minutes because uh, I think we shall get some questions from you in the auditorium. We have already answered more than 40 questions uh, written down uh, on uh, different questions and answers. Milena Neslif is it there? Just a second. Do you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Julia and Marcos, for your uh, stories, for your feelings, for your uh, sharing your um, your experiences, and you are a really good ambassadors for studying in Slovenia. I'm proud of it. And uh, I would like to ask you to stay with us uh, for a few minutes because I, su I suppose that uh, some of our uh, students, future students, have uh, some questions also for you. We have already answered uh, to more than 40 questions you have uh, stated on our icon questions and answers. So I suppose uh, some of dilemmas we have already cleared up, but if you have some other uh, questions and dilemmas that we are uh, dealing with, uh, free, be free to uh, raise your hand and, uh, and uh, ask us because uh, we are here today for, for you and uh, for, to clear up what is uh, bothering you, what we what you would like to clear up about your studies in Slovenia. If we have some questions, please do not hesitate and ask. So if there is no questions at the moment. You can always write us an email and ask uh, further on when you will see, or maybe you can check or watch this presentation once again. So this was uh, everything that what we have prepared for today's presentation. We would like to thank you once again to spend this hour and a half with us in this afternoon. And thank you for your kind attention. Thank you for your questions. We have answered them as much as we can at the moment, but uh, the answers or the questions which are still open, we shall proceed them to your emails and uh, make, uh, I suppose, we, we, shall, we shall double check them probably and to make and to give you the clear answers. So uh, we hope you have uh, got uh, some interesting information about uh, our educational system and advantages comparing with studying at home or in other countries. At the moment, uh, you are at uh, a very important crossroad in your life, and it is always good to reconsider all options about what is uh, the best in for your personal growth and uh, uh, satisfaction and we are sure that uh, wherever you choose you will choose the right and only the best for you we wish you a lot of success and all the best and thank you once again and hopefully we see you in slovenia next year thank you and goodbye bye